this was another thing I wanted to get to was, uh, so you describe yourself as a futurist. So um, uh, in, in what ways would you uh, describe, so like what areas of, of futurism uh, you know, just interest you or? Uh, well, I would look at it from an evolutionary standpoint. Uh, it's naive to think that human beings have stopped evolving. Mm -hmm. You know, however many hundreds of thousands of years ago, you know, we came from from the primordial ooze and sort of evolved as to sentient beings and became Homo sapiens. But we're not done doing that yet. You know, the human condition, uh, the Homo sapien, is not done evolving. And whether you like it or not, probably the most logical next step of evolution is going to be a fusion with technology. Um, you know, this brings up uh, images of cyborgs running wild with chips implanted into the brain and becoming mutant creatures of uh, cybernetic warfare or something, you know. Um, but there is going to be some kind of fusion with this whole web of technology that we've created, and it's most likely the next step in evolution. Um, so that's where I'm a futurist. I think it's uh, I think it's irresponsible to completely shun technology and, and just push it away and, and blatantly say, you know, reject and say, oh my God, we're using too much tech. We've got to get back to nature. Uh, true, we do need to get back to nature, but you cannot dismiss the tools that we have created for ourselves. We have to learn to use them wisely and to apply them intelligently and to not let them control us. You know, they are just other, they're tools. Um, and I believe that, you know, the human being of the future, our children and grandchildren are going to be the stewards of whether or not we've gotten this right. Um, and of course the jury's still out, uh, but the train has left the station. You know, the, we are living in the age of big data. We're living in the age of, of social networking, influencing our, our news intake, our idea intake, how we share information and, and disseminate misinformation. Uh, I mean, we can see it going wrong all the time. So being a futurist is taking responsibility for those actions. Okay, um, kind of like uh, with Neuralink just recently uh, uh, did a prototype of a pig where they put uh, their neural implant in, in there to, as, a, you know, as a prototype demonstration. And so um, I'm, I'm not sure I... Yeah. <laughs> I believe that they. I believe they might be starting it with humans probably next year. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, hey, I mean, if if there is a safe way to implant a chip in my brain that's going to regulate my biological functions and uh, create the op optimal health of my heart and tell my smartphone when I'm getting too much cholesterol or what foods I should avoid or where my blood levels are at, my you know, insulin levels, uh, you know, and just looking at my whole uh, physiology. Um, if there's a chip that can be implanted that can help with that, um, I say embrace it. Mm -hmm. uh, fear is a powerful mechanism and that, uh, you know, it can immediately lead to, oh my God, chips are going to be implanted into our brains and Big Brother is going to keep tabs on us and be able to control us and hack into i mean there's a million dystopian fantasies that you could unravel from that but uh i i choose to be an optimist or if you, or if you want to use it to simulate a psychedelic experience as well hey uh, <laughs> we'll see we'll see 